another episode of Biologic Science News. Today I want to talk about some pretty interesting new data in a research paper coming out of L.A. The paper was authored by Brianna Putman and her colleagues, who work and conduct research at the University of California, Los Angeles, and the L.A. County Natural History Museum. Their work focuses on reptiles. The paper in question focused on the western fence lizard, which is common all across the western portion of the contiguous United States. These lizards have populations in Oregon, Nevada, Arizona, southern Idaho, and western Utah. The western fence lizard spends a lot of time in the open, getting as much sun as it can, but being exposed like this makes them vulnerable to predators like birds and mammals. Their escape maneuvers are pretty simple, with the lizard just using its fast reflexes to notice the incoming predator and run away, maybe staying for a moment to try and bite the attacker or even defecating as a means of predator evasion, or deterrence. These escape behaviors are what Brianna Putman and her associates studied and documented in their paper. In their introduction, they talk about escape behaviors in animals in a, in a general sense, referring to a few specific cases in birds. They go on to explain a bit how certain variables can influence these escape behaviors, like stuff as seemingly innocuous as the direction of your gaze or the color of your clothes. To study this, the researchers looked at western fence lizards in California, which were characterized by the deep, dark blue flesh of their belly and throat. If the lizards were accustomed to the blue on their bodies, Putman reasoned that she could approach the lizards while wearing a blue shirt and get much closer than she would otherwise before triggering their escape mechanism, their escape behavior. It's a simple but effective experiment. Brianna wore a dark and light blue t-shirt, as well as a red and a gray t-shirt, to act as references for response. Gray would blend her into the ambient background, while red would be both a new, upsetting color and would make her obvious against the background. In the paper, they mentioned that the lizards also have gray colors on their skin and scales, but that this color really isn't used in the sexual selection process like the blue is, so the lizards kind of have a muted response to gray as a color whereas the response to blue is more uh, like a sexual excitement. She performed approach tests on lizards that had a range of previous human contact, from a lot of contact through past experiments and handling and whatnot, to lizards with virtually no contact with humans and some of the lizards captured in wildlife preserves. What Brianna Putman and her fellow researchers found was that the lizards were indeed biased toward the blue colors, the light and, and the dark blue. When Brianna wore the blue shirts, she could get about a meter and a half to a a meter before the lizard noticed her and initiated its escape behavior. When she wore the red shirt, the lizards would take notice of her at almost twice the distance and make a run for it. When she tried to capture these lizards, her rate of capture success while wearing a blue shirt was again more than twice that with a red shirt. The gray shirt allowed an approach up to about a meter and a half, so the the far end of the blue shirt approach range, but it it was just as bad as the red shirt when it came to actually trying to capture the lizards. What this research shows is that the western fence lizard responds preferentially to the same color it uses for sexual selection, to attract a mate. I mean, this makes sense, as any color related to mating is bound to evolve greater significance in the mind of the animal, as those individuals who didn't show a preference toward the color they use to attract mates would generally end up less successful in mating. This supports a larger hypothesis called the species confidence hypothesis, which posits that colors significant to an animal, like a color used on a sexual ornament to attract a mate, or a color seen on a natural predator, get hardwired into their DNA as some kind of response trigger. Animals can literally evolve behavioral preferences critical to their survival and reproduction that are activated or altered simply by seeing a specific frequency of light. 